All right, hello and welcome. So we're going to be going over the uh, updated Yuzu settings. Um, there was a new update for Yuzu and we've seen improvements using both Vulkan and OpenGL on your GTX cards and your AMD cards. So today I'm just gonna go over some of the settings to show you guys uh, what I've been using as my updated settings and what I've been using for pretty much all my games now. Um, especially when I'm using all emulation. So I'm going to show you from the image preview first off. I'm just using the use the advanced 3D image settings. And if you go over to manage 3D uh, settings, just make sure all your things line up to mine. So image sharpening, just make sure it's off scaling disabled. Ambient occlusion, just make sure it's off. Uh, anisotropic filtering, make sure it's application control. Anti-aliasing FXAA, make sure it's off. Uh, anti-aliasing gamma correction on anti-aliasing mode application control uh, this one should be grayed out um, anti-aliasing transparency off CUDA GPUs all DSR factors off DSR smoothness off low latency mode off mo max frame rate off multi-frame sampled AA off um, make sure your OpenGL rendering GPU is on your actual dedicated graphics card if you don't then you're not going to see any performance improvements and this is just going to use your processor so it's going to use your CPU instead of your GPU um, you want to just make sure that this is on a GPU because you're not going to see any kind of performance increases from the new update if you don't power man management just make sure it's on optimal power or you know whatever you can put it on maximum performance if you want but I just leave it on optimal power it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Shader cache, I actually turned mine off um, since the last video. I have seen performance increases just by running it, um, rendering off of my card live versus uh, rendering from a shader cache off my disk because my disk is kind of slow compared to my graphics card. So my graphics card is actually doing a really good job rendering everything as it's seen it. So uh, texture filtering and a stropic sample optimization, make sure that's off. Um, negative LOD bias, allow. Texture filtering quality, quality. Um, Trilinear optimization, make sure that's on. Threaded optimization, make sure that's on, so you're using your whole CPU. Um, triple buffering, off. Vertical sync, off, so you're getting as many frames as possible. And there you go, so once that's all done, hit apply down here and then let's go over to physics make sure your dedicated card is selected not your CPU not auto select but make sure you click on your dedicated card and then um, make sure your resolution and everything's good to go and if it's all good to go then go ahead and close it and we're gonna be going to use you next so go ahead and launch the use you you might see that you have a update wait for it to install chances are you're getting the update that I'm talking about so we're gonna wait for it to load alright so now that it's loaded uh, we're gonna go to emulation, configure. I'm gonna make sure your limit speed percent. Uh, I have mine at 225 percent because I like a really high refresh rate. I like playing games well over 60 FPS. System, make sure that this is all fine. Your graphics right here. So this is the important part. My API, I use OpenGL because I've noticed that on my GTX 1070. I'm getting a ridiculous improvement just using OpenGL. Vulkan crashes Yuzu for me. It might not be the same for you. You have to test these two out, and you have to um, pick an option before you load into a game because you can't change it while you're playing a game. So just pick an option. I would recommend OpenGL. It's a lot more stable um, than Vulkan is. And just make sure your native 720 piece, you're getting the highest frames possible use your disk shader cache here versus in your NVIDIA settings and use asynchronous GPU emulation. Make sure your aspect ratio is default, 16 by 9. I had changed that by accident. Um, you can force 30 FPS mode if you want. I leave it off and I like to use, uh, leave VSync off too. Accuracy level normal if you put it on high, you'll see a lot less frames. If you put it on extreme, it'll be really laggy. Your anisotropic filtering, just leave it at default so you don't see any frame stutter. Mix your audios all the same here. And if we're good there, we're gonna load into a game. All right, so as you guys can see, we're having a lot better performance running Pokemon Sword. It's running well above, or you know, just about 60 FPS. 
and that's just in the main menu in the little loading screen. But this is being rendered by your GPU, so kind of gives you an idea. So we're gonna go ahead and load into the game. Okay, so once we are loaded in, this is uh, what you should be seeing. You should be seeing a very playable game. You should be seeing no more soft locks. So I just started the save file. I went through um, the beginning of the game. You can get up off the couch. You don't get stuck there anymore. Um, I'm in the slumbering wield right now. I'm gonna go battle this Pokemon and work my way to Zacian. So there's a little bit of frame dip there, but that's just going into a battle. And that happens pretty much every time. But yet again, once you're in the battle, and as long as you have the uh, shader cache on, you shouldn't be seeing too much slowdown at all. It should be running really good. And this is running really good. So the game normally just runs at 30 FPS. I'm getting well above that. It's more than playable. There is some slowdown in certain areas, like when you first get out of your house, after you do all the beginning cutscenes and all the intro stuff, you will see a little bit of stutter walking into the open world because it has to render all those shaders yet again. Um, but as you play the game and you get further and further along and you render more and more things, you will see that it's going to just run amazing. It's, it's not going to stutter, it's not going to lag, it's not going to be any kind of bullshitty. It's going to be really, really good. So let's get past this. We're going to go meet Zacian. And then, uh, oh my god, he just healed me three times. Alright, let's go. I'm going to do one more battle. A little squall dip. I think I can just kill it with Ember. So I'm just using my keyboard to play. I don't have a controller hooked up right now. Just because it's a little bit faster than setting up DS4 controller, uh, DS4 tool and everything. And there's Zacian. So we're going to keep running through, and let's see. Better real quick. It's not gonna do anything. Ember, no effect. Just gonna keep spamming Ember. May as well. running so good though man this game's running great and there's pretty much no more soft locks I think you can play the entire game all the way up until the fourth gym before you start to encounter any kind of soft locks so just make sure uh, when you finish the third gym you save your game and you're just pretty much sitting around waiting for a new update if you don't actually own the game I own the game I own sword and shield on my sword and shield limited edition switch um, so I'm not really too worried about it but see, this is what I was talking about, the slowdown in the towns. So on in the hometown, it's pretty bad. But as you keep going along, it doesn't get too bad as long as you um, render the shaders yet again. So once I render all these shaders, I'm just going to run around real quick. I'll see a slight little performance increase. Pretty much running back the same way. 
It is really laggy, but it's okay. It's still definitely way more playable than it was before. If you guys remember the last video, I was only getting maybe 15 FPS here. I'm, I'm getting a lot more. I'm getting about 7 to 10 more FPS than I did the last time, so... That is an improvement. Went from pretty much completely unplayable, jittery... Like, completely undescribable, to just pretty much smooth compared to that. I gotta go talk to mother. Let's go find her. And in the house, it runs pretty good. If it decides to load. There we go. Much better, way more smoother. Boop, boop. A little score bunny so cute. Alright, so we get everything we need, and we can just keep going on. See, before we were getting about 13 to 15 FPS just in this area, and it was pretty much unplayable. This is a lot more playable. It's not freezing, it's not like. It's not god awful. It's really good. Um, I did notice that. Using Vulcan drops my frames way worse than this and crashes the game out pretty much constantly. I, I couldn't load into a battle without the game just completely dying. Like, I would go into here, try and battle a Ricky D, and then the game would just completely just crash out. Because Vulcan just can't handle it, I guess. I don't know. I, they need to work on it a little bit more to get it more, um, you know, optimized. But it's going to take time. Emulation and figuring everything out, decoding everything, it's just going to take time. So he's telling us we gotta go to the Pokemon Research Lab. We all know what for. Ah, uh, the lag, the lag. All right, there we go. Let's run on through, dodge all these guys. So I haven't uh, gone past this. I started a new save file and I actually removed my shaders that were saved. So my frames are gonna go down and then they're gonna keep going up. But that's because my shaders are being drawn. So I'll get about 20 to 22 FPS running around this world once all my shaders are done loaded. So this is a new Pokemon I haven't encountered yet, and that's why it took so long for it to load. But yet again, once the shaders are done, and once all of his little moves are registered, it won't be freezing anymore. Just use as many different kinds of moves as you can to you know render as many shaders as you can, save them to your disk, and then uh, every time you load into the game, you'll see it. You'll notice that it runs a little bit better every time. So this was a soft lock before. You would uh, talk to Leon, and pretty much after he would finish talking here, you you would freeze. You wouldn't be able to do anything. You wouldn't be able to move around or anything. And now this soft lock should be fixed as well. So just to prove it to you guys, I'm gonna play through it. I do have skip cutscenes on still because that is still really good to have on. If you, if you don't have skip cutscenes on, turn it on because emulation and cutscenes just pretty much don't mix. And there's the professor, or soon to be professor. It's not a professor yet. I mean, it's, it looks really good. This game looks amazing. I can't wait till they optimize it just a little bit more. And then I'm going to be bumping up the resolution to get rid of all these little jaggedies. All these little jaggedy edges will go away. And now I'll get a higher frame rate with a much more enjoyable experience. There you go, I got the Pokedex.
All right, see? No more soft lock. No more bull crap. That lag, that, that's hilarious. Way. So normally you'd be frozen right here, but look at that. I can run around and it's totally fine. No more soft locks yet again. It's pretty great. I'm going to show you guys my settings really quick uh, for the Pokemon game. And then, like in game. And then um, after that, I will end the video. Of course I've been to a Pokemon Center. Get out of here, hop. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys my uh, settings really quickly. Oop, my bad. Alright, so we're going to go down to options. And let me get rid of the performance stats. Alright, so tech speed on fast. Battle effects off to try and, you know, not render all those moves if you don't want to. If you leave it on, you're going to get a lower FPS because it's going to have to freeze. It's going to have to load up all the textures and all the animations and stuff. So I just leave it off so it just saves me a little bit of performance. Battle style, set it to set. Send the boxes, automatic. Give nicknames, nope. Uh, gyroscope, nope. Autosave, nope. Casual controls, nope. Show nicknames, show. Skip movies, on. And that's it. That's literally it. So as long as your settings are set to this, you should be seeing pretty good performance. So we're just going to back out of there. I'm going to go ahead and save my game. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And leave a comment too. Say hi. I'll say hi back. <laughs> hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much.